everyone welcome back once again to the mathematics class in today's class we are going to discuss a new chapter in class 9 that is linear equations in two variables although we have completed the polynomials chapter those have not watched those videos just go, go on to the channel playlist and click on the those videos there are 16 video lessons of polynomials and factorization chapter now here coming to the new chapter that is linear equations in two variables now as well you know these linear equations uh, uh, in your prior classes in your before classes you have learned about them but today we are going to learn about the linear equations in two variables okay here now what are the variables what is a constant what are, what is a coefficient that basics you have known and also i have stressed in uh, polynomials chapter right now if you take any linear equation for example suppose 3x plus 4 equals to uh, 0 some something like this now here the variable is x which keeps on varying with the values we substitute now the number attached to this is the coefficient and the number which is devoid of variable is the constant all this you know this is called as a linear equation in only one variable now we are going to learn the linear equation in two variables but before that i'll tell you an example now if i go to a shop a stationery shop and if i want to buy five pence now the uh, shopkeeper demands for 60 rupees so i if i suppose pence as x i have taken five pence five x so that is equal to 60 rupees so easily you can uh, calculate the cost of one pen right that is 12 12 rupees likewise suppose that is called a linear equation in one variable now if you see the same shop if i go and if i demand for four notebooks and two pens now the uh, person the shopkeeper asks me 100 rupees for four notebooks and two pens so there are two items here notebooks as well as pen now if i give for one item as x that is notebooks as x and pens as y i can write it as i'm taking four notebooks where i noted notebooks as x and two pens pens i'll take it as y okay for 100 rupees this way this has costed me 100 rupees so likewise this all these situations we come across in our daily life now how do we how we can calculate for each notebook now how much is one notebook and how much is one pen you can easily calculate using the linear equations in two variables now this is called as a linear equation linear equation in two variables now here clearly you can see the variables are x and y x and y right here and 2 and 4 are the coefficients and whereas 100 is the co constant okay so this is called linear why it is called as a linear equation we all we have learned in our previous sessions that the degree is 1 if the degree of the uh, equation of the degree of the polynomial is 1 it is called as a linear polynomial or a linear equation now the degree is nothing but the highest power of the exponent here the exponent uh, highest power of the exponent of the variable for this variable the exponent if you see here is 1 for this variable the exponent is 1 so if that is the highest power here the highest power is 1 so that is called degree degree is 1 it is called as a linear equation when the degree of the variable is 2 then it is called as a quadratic equation likewise we have cubic and all so the linear equations are the equations having degree 1 and here in specific linear equation in two variables that means it is possessing two different variables in the case of the um, notebooks and pens i have supposed x as notebooks and y as pens now we can solve them and we can get the value of the cost of each notebook and each pen so likewise so today we are going to learn this new chapter now and we also we also will be doing the exercise problems right here now the general form now how do we write the general form of a linear equation in one variable so one variable i can write we will we'll write this is called the general form right general form of linear equation of one variable 
Here the variable is only x. Now similar way the linear equations in two variables the general form I can write it as ax plus by two variables plus c a constant equal to zero. So this is the general form of the linear equations in two variables. Whereas the variables are x and y, not only x and y, you can also take it as p, q or s, t, some other thing, anything, any variable you can keep it. Here, where here a and b and c are real numbers, okay, are the real numbers. Here a, b and c, a, b are the coefficients and c is a constant, all these three are real numbers and another condition for this is a and b are simultaneously a and b are simultaneously not zero simultaneously the word itself says at a time at a glance at once at a time this a and b is if if at all if it happens if a is zero so this comes to zero if b is zero this comes to only c constant is equal to zero we get so that is not a linear equation in two variables okay here the condition is that they a b c are real numbers as well as a and b are simultaneously not zeros right they are not zeros that means here one can be zero the other can be some other number but at a time at a time simultaneously means at a time both must not be zero so this is the general form of a linear equation in two variables so quickly copy down this uh, part of the notes i'll we will go for the x point one express the following linear equations in the form of ax plus by plus c and indicate the values of abc in each case now here there are seven problems i have noted down only five problems right now few problems i have left over for you to practice now here in maths we you need to practice just mere listening does not work out so you have to listen the concept and you have to work out on yourself so that you can get the solutions okay so uh, doing it on yourself is very good okay so few problems the similar problems which are very, very easy and which are uh, comparatively uh, directly involved with these concept i have left over for you to practice those are the let's let suppose those are the homework problems so so five problems i have noted down let's go for the first one see here what we have to do we have to write these linear equations in the form of ax plus by plus c this is the general form so let us bring them into the general form then we have to find the a b c values in each case so in each problem now here this is already in the form of ax plus by plus c right see here ax plus by plus c equals to 0. The constant if it is outside we have to bring it inside but it is inside only. Now where now the values of a, a value is the coefficient of x that is 8, b value is the coefficient of y that is plus 5 whereas c value is the constant minus 3 along with the negative sign we have to write because we have in the formula plus c okay so minus 3 so these are the values now come moving on to the next one that is the fourth bit here let us first bring it into the form of the general form so ax plus by plus c equal to 0 is the general form right so let us bring it into this form we will bring the y cons to the this side so it becomes plus 5y equals to 0 now here this is in this form we bought it now a value is equal to 2 b value is equal to 5 now we don't have c value here so c value is simply 0 right now moving on to the next one now we will write the general form here this is already in the general form but the constant is outside let us bring it inside so x by 3 plus y by 4 minus 7 equal to 0 so this is in the form of ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Now here compare it with here this is a value is 1 by 3. B value is 1 by 4. So 1 by 4 if you multiply with y it becomes y by 4. Whereas c value is negative 7. Right here. Now moving on to the next question. Cross multiplying it because this is a fraction. So 2y equal to minus 3x. Right. Bring the x value to the this side. So that becomes plus x 3x 
plus 2y equals to 0. So here this is in the form of ax plus by plus c equal to 0 where a value is 3 here and b value is 2 whereas we don't have c value so that is 0. Right. Now moving on to the next question this is already in the form of ax plus by plus c but bring the constant inside. So 3x plus 5y minus 12 equal to 0. So where a equal to 3, b equal to 5, c equal to negative 12 minus 12. So pause the video and note it down. Let's see the right Next. each of the following in the form of ax plus by plus c equal to 0 and find values of abc. The first question is also the same thing but the bits are different here. Okay. Here the uh, few bits I have no out of 4 I have noted down 3. Right. Here 2x plus y. The other one which are left over do practice it. Okay. 2x plus y, uh, 2x is equal to 5. Now we will bring it in the form of ax plus b. So if I write this as 2x minus 5 equal to 0. So if we compare with the general form by plus c equal to 0. Now here we don't have y. y term. That means our b value is 0. Now we have the condition that a and b simultaneously must not be 0. But one can be 0. Okay? Either a or either b can be 0. But at a time a, b should not be zeros. That is the condition of the linear equations in two variables. Now here a value is equal to 2. Now we don't have b. So that is b y value we don't have. So that we have to write it as 0. Whereas c is equal to minus 5. Right? This is the constant I have written minus 5. Now moving on to the third bit here. Now we will cross multiply. So y equal to 7, 3 is 21. Right. Let us bring the constant to this side. So y minus 21 is equal to 0. Now when we compare it with the general form ax plus by plus c equal to 0. We don't have x term ax. Okay. So that means a equal to 0. We have b. b is equal to y is multiplied with 1. 1y one means y. So y b is equal to 1 and c is equal to minus 21. Right. Here moving on to the fourth one. The similar way just cross multiply that is 13x equal to minus 14. Bring the constant inside 13x plus 14 equals to 0. So let us compare it with the ax plus by plus c linear equations in two variables. Now here a value is 13. We don't have b term, b y term. So b is equal to 0 whereas c is equal to 14. Now here if you see in these two questions. Here we don't have a x term that means a is 0 here you you don't have b y term that is b is 0. So either one variable can be 0 either one a or b can be 0 but the condition is that simultaneously a and b must not be 0 for linear equations in two variables. Please pause the video and let's see question. The express the following statements as a linear equation in two variables. Here given verbal statements we have to write it in the mathematical form that is in the linear equations in two variables now here if you see the verbal statement here i have noted down the first two problems the sum of two numbers is 34 we have to bring this verbal statement into the mathematical statement now variables we will choose here sum sum means addition two numbers let me suppose those two numbers let the two numbers okay let the two numbers b x comma y any variable you can take pq also you can take now the sum of two numbers is 35 so the equation is sum these two numbers are x plus y is equal to 34 is the linear equation right now here moving on to the next one the cost of a ball pen is 5 rupees less than the half the cost of a fountain pen so here first we, we have two terms uh, here the ball pen and the fountain pen. We have to suppose one as one variable and the other one as a other variable. Now let, let me suppose let ball pen uh, be x okay right here the, let the uh, ball pen uh, cost of ball pen let me write okay let cost of ball pen bx b 
x rupees right now the cost of the same thing cost of fountain pen i'll suppose this cost of fountain pen be y okay rupees y rupees x right now here i have suppose the two variables now the condition will see cost of a ball pen is 5 less than the half the cost of a uh, fountain pen if you are taking the fountain pen half means by 2 half the cost of a fountain pen and 5 rupees less 5 less is the cost of our ball pen so the ball pen is 5 rupees less than half the cost of the uh, fountain pen so this is the expression now we will bring it into the general form first here now if you take this uh, let us take the LCM here y minus 10 equal to x let us cross multiply y minus 10 equal to 2x so let us write it as 2x bring this to the other side minus y minus 10 equal to 0 this is the final expression in linear expression in two variables okay here pause the video and note it down here and we will continue the remaining problems in our next session thank you all